I was so proud. I was so super proud. Oh my god. Dude, you did so good. reasons can be individually different. All right, one of the most important parts Look of the, the trip. Look how close it is. Pepe, let's see your tag. <laughs> <clears throat> we stopped in Spokane Hello. here at the North 40, and we got Mrs. Paisley's very first ever hunting license and turkey tag, and Josh talked to me to get the second one too. So we got two tags for Pepe, and then this is my nephew. Say hi, Rye. Hi. How many turkey tags have you got? Two. You got two turkey tags. You got two turkey tags. I think we're in the fixing to kill four turkey, one, two, four turkeys. So now we gotta get these munchkins back to camp, get camp set up. We're gonna get dinner, get camp set up, and then hopefully do a little scouting on the turkey farm, figure it out. But we'll see you guys at camp. All right, guys, well, we made it to our destination. We are at our friend Kelly's house right now. We got about thousand plus acres to hunt uh, thanks to one of Kelly's neighbors. So that's pretty exciting. We got the jumping jack all set up. i give you a tour tomorrow in the daylight, but Kelly's got a pretty sweet spread up here. Um, try to see that. That's the jumping jack right there. Getting all set up. Kids are in there making a ruckus. But uh, that is it for us. Travel day is over. We got two full days to get it done. We got here and shut the door and started talking to Kelly. And uh, blah, 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 blah. we had five or six toms all around us just gobbling. And Kelly's got blinds set up all around his property. It should be a super fun time. So we will catch you guys in the morning. Wish us luck. We're going to be dreaming about goblin toms. Here we go. How old you are? My name is Uriah and I we are hunting turkeys. Nice. Have you ever hunted turkeys before? Yes. How many times? Uh, I think two. two. Two times. This is your second year? I think this might be my third. This is your third year hunting turkeys? Mm -hmm. How old were you when you went through Hunter's Ed? Eight. I mean, eight. I think eight. You were eight? Did you like Hunter's Ed? Was it pretty fun? Pretty yeah, cool? Yeah, it was pretty fun. Nice. Do you like hunting? Yeah. What's your favorite part about hunting and being outside? Mm, probably searching for it. Searching for turkeys? And then getting like set up to shoot it. Nice. Paisley and I'm 10 years old. Uh, we're hunting for turkey. And what's your favorite part about hunting so far? Doing the hiking and being able to set up all the stuff to be able to shoot. Nice. Uh, tell us what happened this morning. Um, I tried to shoot a turkey, but then I missed it because I kind of tripped and moved the gun when I tried to shoot. <laughs>
off. Yes, safety's off. Go ahead, Pepe, the one closest to us. Which one? The one on the left. You show me on the camera which one. That one. Okay, you ready? Yeah. get some lunch, get some breakfast for the kids, move around, get warm, maybe take a little nap, and then Kelly says be back in the blind before 10. Oh, cool. So we can go mess around. What's up, bud? Do you think that the turkeys would leave this area? No. Nope. Because there's a lot of over there. Yeah. This is an exciting morning. Yeah, that was. That's, that's my turn. 12, 12 jigs? 12 yeah. Jigs. Yep. Maybe got a shot off. And then maybe 45 minutes, an hour later, and then we had this Tom come strut in. We kind of came over, over this hillside, following three hands. And then uh, we kind of ran that corner and just couldn't quite, couldn't quite close the distance. He, he hung up at probably 50 yards out or so. But uh, eyes were jacked. Pretty close. It's an exciting morning. Two hours in the blind, and that was two hours. It felt yeah. like five. <laughs> <laughs> well, the key to happy kids is good snacks. Good snacks. So, we're gonna get these kids to bed, and hopefully we can have a good, exciting afternoon. Next one, sis. You got it. All right, guys. Good morning. It's the uh, morning of day number two. We just woke up. We got turkeys gobbling. We're gonna slip down to the blind right now. We got several turkeys going from the camp here. But uh, we're gonna slip on down. See you down the blind.
are closed. Here they are. Here they are. Come in. It's either a question 
there's three toms. Do you want to go there or do you want to play with the dogs? That's the question. It's obvious you want to get the time. That's what I'm talking about, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, it's obvious. Okay. Just got my camera. There's three toms over here somewhere. We're waiting for all the kids to get their stuff together. And we're going to go take off after. Oh, turkey. Oh, turkey. Tell them why. You ready, bud? Let's go. Follow Kelly. What do you think, Ray? What? What do you think? What do you think? Did we get, did they give us a slip? Huh? Did they sneak away from us? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about that? Terrible. <laughs> that is not good. <laughs> they make it that much better when you get one, right? Yeah. You got him! You got him! We went for a walk. Uh, Give uncle some nugs. Give uncle some nugs. <laughs> we made it happen, guys. Turkey down. But some of the credit goes to him. He's the one who called him along. Oh, <laughs> just called him, man. Got him, man. He called like three um, flocks. Uncle gloves. Uncle gloves. All right. Three flocks came Well, if you can see, our spirits are lifting. We got Uriah's first tom is on the ground. Good job. Let's go grab him. Good job. Good job, buddy. Nancy was all stressed out. <laughs> Why isn't he shooting yet? <laughs> what is, is he gonna get it? Oh, I hope he get. I just gotta get it. Oh, I hope he gets it. They're going away. Oh, coming back. <laughs> oh. That was. Hey, Kelly, we had we went oh, through I... the the emotion wheel on that one. He oh, sure did. I guarantee you, I understand because yeah. when the first group came in and left, and I was like, oh no. Yeah. Like... But then I saw him pop out on top. I was just getting ready to walk out of the house. I was like, nope. There's like six times. He said there was nine. Nine. As hunters, we are often asked why we do it. For each of us, I think our responses can be individually different. For me, it's about being connected with nature. It's about tradition, 
and spending time in the woods with the ones I love. Hunting is hard, and it's not for everyone. It takes patience, persistence, hard work, and learning from our failures. Closing out the spring season last year, I wasn't certain that hunting was going to be a passion I would be able to share with my oldest son, Uriah. He had been walking around in the woods with me his whole life, but last year, while staring down the barrel at a tom just five yards away, he said, Dad, I can't do it. As a hunter, this is one of the last things you want to hear your son say. best response you can give. I don't want to. Is to pat him on the back, <laughs> give him a big hug, say let's go fishing son. In the off season, you process the moral dilemma he was facing about taking a life. And come fall, he was ready to get back at it. He had multiple close calls, which only seemed to fuel his hunger. Fast forward to spring season 2024, I knew he was ready, and so did he. As a father, there is no greater gift than being able to share your passions with your children. And on this hunt, I solidified my lifelong hunting partner. I'm proud of you, son. Bye guys, see you next time. Thanks for everything. I imagine just seeing an entire flock full of turkeys down there. Yeah, we'd have to stop and get our stuff back on, wouldn't we? Yep, <laughs> no. What do you think guys, epic trip? Yeah. yeah. One for the record book? Mm -hmm. Epic, uh, yeah. Record book, I don't think. <laughs> hey, Mr. Tablito. Piper down. Wait, oh, you piper down. Piper down there, Bob.